Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Mesa on the Feet race course here on Saturday. It is September the 17th, 2016. We're going to look at the stakes races, the big races, races two and four. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections. Uh, so let's get on to it. Starting off with race number two from Mesa on the Feet, it's the group, the, the group three pre the Prince de Orange sticks. It's group three here going for a purse of $86,500 for three year olds only. It's a three year olds only stakes. Field six horses going a mile and a quarter, 2,000 meters on the turf course. And my top selection here will go to the five horse spectros Spectroscope at uh, six to one here. Uh, gonna put this horse into a super, um, into a trifecta actually. Gonna go five, two, four, five, two, four. Number five, Spectroscope uh, out of the Dalla de Oro, owned by Gandalf. Often trained by Andre Farr, Michael Barcelona on this one. Last time out, we're in August the um, uh, the 19th in a list of stakes for $59,000. Finished fourth by two lengths that day. You know, it was his second start, uh, first start of the month, second start in about four weeks. Um, you know, it... it you know, it, it was an all-out finish that day, but he just lacked the extra little bit of ground he would get with the mom quarter that he's going to get today. Start before it came over this turf course, May Lassan Lafitte, July the 17th in the Group 2 Eugene Adams Stakes, the pre-Eugene Adams Stakes. Horse finished third by two and three-quarter lengths that day at 13-1. to one. Again, he just was a little bit farther back, really couldn't get the greatest of closing kicks. And then a song clue, June the uh, 28th in the last race for 37,000. First start in about two months. He won by five lengths. Easy victory in the field six horses. You know, he's tr I'm trying to beat the favorite here, number two, um, Mikatal, um, another Ashkov horse. Um, you know, I think the, the two horses have a very live chance also, but I think the, at a price of 6-1, to one, I'm going to take my chances with Spectroscope here, because um, I think he could do well here, um, even though Mikatal has run some better races, but I think he, the 5-4 Spectroscopes will be running a good one here today, so that's why I like him. So to recap my bets for race number two from Maison Lafitte, the Prince de Orange, the Pre de Prince de Orange. Gonna go with the five horse spectroscope. Gonna do a trifecta here. Five, two, four, five, two, four. So now let's get on to race number four. The fourth race from Maison Lafitte is the group three Pre La Coupe de Mel Stakes. Uh, group three stakes here going for a purse value $6,500 for three olds and upwards. Six horses going to the post here, traveling a mile and a quarter, 2,000 meters on the turf course. And my top selection here, we'll go to the one horse. Now we can. Yes, we can. Now we can. Uh, it's now we can. Uh, gonna put this horse into a um, trifecta. Gonna go one, four, two, one, four, two. Number one, now we can. Two to one. Um, you know, last time out, the horse ran September the 4th at San Cru, a mile and a quarter in a lounge race for $56,000. Of course, finished third by length that day at three to one. You know, and the field of eight horses, you just lack that really good closing kick. It was the second start back, uh, his second start in, um, back from the States. He ran up at, um, uh, at Belmont here in New York, uh, back in June. So I think the, the, the European horses need a little bit of a break after the coming to uh, America and then back. Um, start before it came to Saint Cloud, July the 14th, and a good mile three quarter pre Maurice de Noel stakes. Group two that day. The horse finished third by two lengths and field six horses. Again, lacked the closing kick. But this horse finished second be uh, behind one of the best, uh, probably, well, the Sayers community in America is next to nothing. The best horse probably g going over a mile and five eighths is a horse by the name of the Big Horse who's actually entered and might actually run in um, the Melbourne Cup. And this horse finished behind the Big Horse that day in the Belmont Gold Cup on June the 10th. Uh, this horse finished second by one half lengths with Julian Leperu up a little bit wide going into the to the top of the stretch, but, you know, wasn't catching the Big Horse who had a very good closing kick, but it was a decent second place finish in his North American debut. And then start before it came at um, Leon de Perry, uh, May 12th in the list of stakes. Horse finished second by a neck. Uh, you know, it was a decent second place finish again. First start um, on a turf this year, on the grass this year. I think this horse was facing a lot tougher last time out. He's coming second off the layoff, should be the key with this one today. Two to one, not the best of price, but I'll take, you know, I think the horse has a very live chance. So to recap my best race number four from Mason Lafitte, it's the La Coupe de Mille Stakes. Gonna go with the one horse now, we can. Gonna do a trifecta, one, four, two, one, four, two. So good luck to all, and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.